Dealing here is life and death. If you looked in the bag, look, all will be forgotten. Just call me back. Thank you. You got the rest of Yeah. Uh -huh. So, you ready to tell me where Ambrosie's money is? Fuck yourself, Maggie. I hope you never feel another woman as long as you live. Fucking degenerate cocksucker. Oh, come on. Come on, Bano. Listen. No cursing here, alright? Watch your language, alright? There's children next door. We don't want them to hear you suffer. Gym bag, jar M and M's, a bunch of bullshit. I think he's telling the truth. No, no, no. He's got a, he's got a safe in here. Go check again. Checked everywhere, boss. Checked everywhere. This fucking place is still standing, all right? You're breaking the fucking walls or something. But this is fucking it. Fuck. <laughs> My <bitch. coughs> Hey, Vino, man. listen, quick, before you lose any more blood. <laughs> listen, my wife's been nagging me about your bruschetta recipe. I mean, she's dying for it. Listen, no offense. <laughs> Two cups of chopped basil. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing right now? Why you Why just gonna kill me if I don't get this fucking recipe? This is a fucking cooking show? Come on, come on. <laughs> I have a cup of pop. pop. <laughs> Parmesan cheese. <laughs> and eight plum tomatoes. Jesus Christ, Mackie, you couldn't wait till I fucking get the olive oil? No. Quick, quick, beat up. How much olive oil? Two tablespoons. You idiot. Some fucking balls thinking that he's gonna walk off with Ambrosie's money and thinking he's not gonna get his? Fucking asshole. You think we should hurry up and get these bodies out of here? Before these neighbors that you paid off break our agreement? First of all, I'm the one who calls the shots around here, alright? You understand me? Now, what we should do. Let's clean up this body before the neighbors next door break their agreement with us, all right? That's thinking ahead, boss. <laughs> Hope to be a murderous low life like you one day. Yeah, you know what? I'm really flattered. Listen, do me a favor. Go through his phone. I want to see who the fuck he was talking to before we came in here. Uh, yeah, yeah.
On the next episode of the 48 Hour Man. to the room and she just proceeded to ride on pop. I mean, had me tight. But to make matters even worse, it was like I never even walked in the room. Then she turned around and say, oh, hi, honey. Like, that shit never happened. Oh, man, that's horrible, BJ. I never even heard the whole story. She been calling me all night, most likely to talk about that shit. This is Worse than the time your brother buried your dog alive in the backyard. I remember that. I mean, he was a dog. He should have been able to dig himself out. 